Okay, hi everyone, it's Christian here again and today in this video we're going to show you how to measure your pH of the saliva and also for urine. And just at the start, this isn't real urine, this is just apple cider vinegar and water. Just to represent, we're just going to talk through how we do the process. So what you will need is your litmus paper or litmus strips. Many different ones that you can get on the market. We, because of the nature of what we do, we bought them in bulk where they all come in these lots of big, um, I don't know, series of litmus strips. You can get some that are in plastic containers, all the like. So that's basically all of you need and then you need the solution itself. So let's start with saliva. So a true saliva test is at the start of the day before you eat or drink anything and you would clear your mouth, pull the saliva in your mouth and get rid of it three times and then use the fourth lot of saliva to get the best representation. But again, I'll just show you the process of doing this. So I assume we've cleared the mouth three times. I'm just gonna put it in my mouth and soak it with some saliva. Bring it out so that it's pulled. And then I would wait 30 to 60 seconds to look for a change in the litmus strip color. So you can see there, um, hopefully you can, you can see the change in the color happening. And pretty much within 15 or 20 seconds, you will start to see if there's anything happening. Sometimes you might need to put it back in the mouth again, but that's nicely coated. Then you'll take the scale that comes with your pH strip. Um, so this is the example that we have for this particular product and then I match it up to see where I am. So you can see here that we're around about the seven, somewhere between the sevens and the eights. And the ideal is around 7.4 for human blood. So the saliva is a, represents a buffering system for the blood. It doesn't actually mirror the blood completely, but it's not a bad indication. So that's how you do the saliva. And we'll just put that over here. Now, urine is the same concept. You, again, want to do before you eat or drink anything. And according to the literature, you could do the first urine of the day, the second urine of the day. For the scale that we send out to our clients, we go with the first urine of the day. And you can either get it midstream by manually catching the stream or you can pull it into a plastic cup bigger than this, smaller than this or something else such that you can pull some of the saliva, sorry, some of the urine and then all you would do is just dip it in till you get it done. So again, this is apple cider vinegar so you can see then that um, when we match it to our scale it's down there in the, let's call it the red zone um, for that particular measure. So that is how you would then do your urine. And as we always tell people, one measure does not show a trend. We would say things like at least seven days doing the same time each day. Do saliva and urine if you can to then get both measures happening seven days, even 30 days to start to get an idea of what's happening with your body. Um, it does fluctuate if you eat or drink, that's why I always say do it at the start of the day. Okay, so now we've covered how to do your pH of your saliva and urine. You're empowered. See you later. Bye-bye.